With the Files Refactoring Autosave setting, VS Code will automatically save any files that are touched as part of a refactoring, such as a rename or moving code around. Now, this setting is enabled by default, and to demonstrate it in this TypeScript file, I'm just going to rename the isNonEmptyArray function here. So I'll place my cursor on it, press F2 to start a rename, and I'll say is not an empty array as the new name. I'll hit enter, and you can see that I have the new name that's shown up here. Now, what has happened behind the scenes is that VS Code has gone and updated all places in my code base where this uh, function was being referenced. And if we actually go and look over at the source control view, you can see that I have all of these 37 locations where this method has now been changed. And these files have all, again, automatically been saved. Again, this is because we have the files refactoring autosave setting enabled, which is the default. So we didn't have to worry about saving any of these files. I'm actually going to revert this commit now, and then we can go and look at what happens if you disable this setting. So I'm going to go back here, undo all of this, and now let's open up the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and search for refactoring auto. And I want the files refactoring autosave setting. Again, this is on by default, and that was the behavior we we're just seeing. If I go turn this off though, and then close this and do the exact same thing. So I'll rename this and I'll say is not an empty array and hit enter. You can see that VS Code has now opened all of those files and they're unsaved as well. So this would let us go through and actually review all of the changes before saving the files to disk. But it does, in this case, it's going to open up around 40 or so files. So there's quite a lot of files that are now open as editor tabs. At this point as well, you could of course do a save all. So I could do save all here and that would save all these files so they start showing up in the source control view, but we would still have these editor tabs open. I find that keeping files refactoring autosave enabled, which is again the default, is quite helpful because it's usually the behavior that you want. But if you ever find that VS Code is touching files unexpectedly, you might want to try turning that setting off so that you're always going to have to explicitly save files. So that's a quick look at the files refactoring autosave setting in VS Code.